close to the soccer game in Chiang Mai. <laughs> Good morning from Chiang Mai. So today we have a couple of things on. Right now I'm on the way to a hair place just to check on some things for my hair. I have to go to Maya Mall just to get some medication. I have to grab a coffee as always. And then later on we are going to go to the soccer where there's a soccer game on. And then after that we're gonna go to the Sunday night market. We're gonna go there and get some food in. So come with me on a walk and let's chat. Ooh, there's a car here, I'm gonna get run over. So I have a couple of things I want to say. The other night, actually it was like a few nights ago now, I was at 7-Eleven and a lovely, lovely lady reckon, recognized me from YouTube and she was like, hello. And honestly, like I just on my way to 7-Eleven to get some water and I said hello and everything, but I, I didn't really expect to be noticed <laughs> by anyone. So I'm sorry that I didn't talk to you for longer. If you're still watching, if you'd like to leave a comment and let me know who you are, I'd love to have a chat. And the other one is to someone who used my buy me a coffee link in my description to donate me 10 coffees. I literally cried. I have had some tough days lately, long nights editing and everything, and that kind of stuff makes it all worth it to me. So we're here at the hair salon, so let's have a quick chat. Okay, honestly, that was a lot more expensive than I was thinking. <laughs> P.S. That place, it's like a little, where is it? That little tiny coffee hut on the corner. Uh, I got a coffee for like 40 or 50 baht and it was really, really nice. Go to Maya Mall. She only had half of my prescription, so now I need to go find the other store that has it as well. So let's go. So I really like coffee, right? And there's a Starbucks right here as I'm leaving Maya, but a new coffee store just opened up on our street and I really want to buy something from them just to support them from opening. Just to support them when they opened. So I'm going to take you there and show you what the new cafe on my road, on my soy looks like. So let's go have a look. Oh, also, while I'm here, I just want to say thank you so much. I hit 2,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to all 2,000 of you. So I'm just walking uh, on Nimmin Road and I thought I'd give you just what I've learned since being here, I guess. This was a toast, just behind there was a toast place that do like condensed milk and stuff on toast. This is the 7-Eleven and McDonald's on Nimmin, 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 whatever road. <laughs> Um, and up there, there's um, some really cheap, affordable, long-term apartments. Um, so I think it's like only a couple hundred dollars a month. Um, looks pretty basic, but it might be a really good place to stay if you're on a really strict budget. And it's also right in the middle of the busiest street in Niman. So that's a pretty good place to look at if you're there. I'll pop the name in the description below. You have a Starbucks over this side, um, which has a really big, long working desk. So if you're a worker who work online like me and my partner, um, we go there often just to, there's a, as you walk in, a big long hard desk that you can put your laptop on and um, work for a while with some coffee. I'm just walking down my soy now, my road, um, but they've also got a little Korea town in there. Um, so there's like a Korean little mart thing. So if you like that cuisine, there's a place for you to get it in there. And I think they do like a hot pot thing in there as well. Coming up to, look at me, I'm a, a little tour guide. Coming up to the Briss Hotel and Brown. I've been to the Briss Hotel um, just for a coffee one morning. I think I put it on my vlog. Really good coffee, a little bit expensive. And Brown, we haven't been to yet, but apparently it's a really nice place to work um, and they're open till 10 p.m. So again, that's really handy for people who work online who need to get some work in late at night like we do. And here we are, the new cafe that I wanted to show you on my site. Fresh. get a Americana. So they only sort of opened like the other day. We saw that they were building something there every time we walked past and we didn't know what it was. Then all of a sudden there was a coffee shop and I was like, I am here for that. <laughs> so I have my ice long black or ice Americano as they call it here in Thailand. And um, we're gonna go do some work now. It's about 12-ish o'clock or just about 12 and then get ready for the soccer in the market tonight. So. Let's go. So we just finished at the gym and there's a like a clean food uh, chicken and rice stand just across the road um, from the gym and the price and the food is really good. So we're going to have our lunch here, just some chicken and rice. And I do really want a Milo ice, but I guess that defeats the purpose of going to the gym today. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do? What was the noise? <laughs> Put in that. <laughs> okay, so we are going to the soccer game. So Chiang Mai is playing Renong. Let's go watch. <laughs> I'm wearing a jersey. The jersey. There it is. Here at the stadium. So we're really early. It's about 6:30. Oh, it's not really early. We have half an hour till kickoff. We were gonna find some street food, but there's nothing around here to get. So we might have to walk all the way down the front. Thank you. 
Kokonkar. Here, as you can see, this pathway used to be all street vendors, beer, food, oh, like now it's just candy, empty. And, and it was like full. And you would come here and you could walk through and get any tidies you could get from a street market, plus a big thing of beer, and go take it, take it in with you and eat it. And now but there's literally COVID, no one here. But you can't bring outside food in because of COVID. Yeah. There's no point in them setting up. Um, all right, we're just getting our seats. Okay, so when we're at the soccer, um, I got in trouble by a security guard for filming, so I had to put my camera away. <laughs> but I got a couple of clips, so I'll show you that now. But we just decided that we didn't have any uh, we didn't have any dinner or anything, so on the way back from the soccer, we just thought that we'll come to the Sunday night market and have a last a Sunday goodbye. night good goodbye Sunday night market meal because we're leaving Chiang Mai soon and we won't get another Sunday night here, so. We're going to have a look around for some food. So All right, so we're going to just find one of those like side streets and find some dinner to have, and then I have to. Do we have to go home? It is. Yeah, you gotta edit. It's about ten o'clock at night, so. Some of these. So there's still a few things open. Yeah. Okay, so I have some gyoza. I love garlic. I love garlic. Yum. It's really garlicky. Mm. Yummy. So I like Okay, I got a blueberry one. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Look at it. It's gonna be hot. Actually. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's a bit hot. Oh, that's the best one. Mm. Okay, Michael just taught me what to say to, to tuk tuks when you don't want one. You say, my elka, which I hope means I don't want it, thank you. <laughs> but if not, <laughs> I don't want, yes. And ka means please, uh, like thank you or whatever. So polite way to say something. So say, my elka. Okay, well that's it for today. We went to the soccer, we went to the night market, we've had dinner. It's about 11 o'clock at night, it's time to go home. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get ready for the next video. Turn your notification bell on to see when it's coming out and you can be the first to let me know you've watched it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! That was a loud motorbike.